So right. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today, we're joined by YouTube royalty Super Mega. You know and love them for such classics as Super Mega Plays Cruising USA, Episode 3, Ha Ha Random, Two Grown Ass Men Play Cory in the House for Nintendo DS, and The Whisper Challenge Number 4 featuring Lord Minion 777 and Markiplier. Matt and Ryan, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sean. Thanks hey. for having us. Thank you. So, how are you guys with spicy food? <sighs> Not too good, Sean, not too good. No, I might have a little bit of a leg up over Matt, but we're both pretty bad at it. Well, I don't know about that, buddy. He's, he's probably better at toughing it out than me, but we're both pretty bad, so. <laughs> All right, well, we're laying down the gauntlet, 10 spicy wings, 10 spicy sauces, and 10 spicy questions. Are you guys ready to get started? Let's get spicy. All right, sounds great. Just start now? Yeah. Go. Go for okay. it. All right. It's all yours. Number one. Hmm. Mm, that's already pretty hot. That's number one. Ooh. So from owning a NASCAR to exploring the realms of space and time, tell me a little bit about being the first YouTubers to set foot in space. Mm. That was fun. That was fun. It was like a lot of people doesn't they don't think that for our channel size we can accomplish much. But I think that by going to space and showing that you don't need to be Markiplier or Jacksepticeye to achieve such a greatness, that I think we paved the way for other YouTubers to kind of hopefully create better content. Sean, I mean, like I said, we're an inspiration to poor people. Um, and, and we're kind of trying to set the stage for what poor people can want to do with their lives. You've also, I know you mentioned those two things, but we also, uh, New York Times bestselling authors, and uh, that's right. That's right. Retired professional boxers. That's so, a that's a little spicy. It's not. A, it's not a rule. Like we don't drink the. Do we drink the water? Or? You guys just do whatever you want. I'll just follow you. Okay. Okay. But is it usually like you should stay off of the water? Is it like a everyone kind of does their own thing? You know, I just kind of feel it out. Each guest is different. We just kind of feel it out as we go. I might have a little water if that's okay. Go for it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Try I, to I'm just thirsty. It's not the spice. I'm gonna try to make it through. You guys also spent two weeks as Caucasian people in Japan. Tell me, you've always been trendsetters. What's next for your channel? Oh man, I'd like to uh, go as a Caucasian tourist to more uh, Asian countries for sure. Korea is um, a big one. Korea for sure. Yeah. I don't know. We got a lot of plans. Uh, you know, some of the things we try to keep secret, but uh, I, th I guess we can tease something. You know, give the fish some food. Maybe. Um, Thing we talk about the Cosby thing? No. no. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, so. okay um, <clears throat> we're doing some cool collaborations soon. Yeah. Some cool people that are, you know, a lot of people are a big fan of. So. All right. Great. Great. You guys ready for the next wing? Let's do it. All right. Sounds good. Smells good. Mmm. Which one is this? That one, the pineapple one. The pineapple one right there. What? This one? Yeah, mm -hmm. that one. That's pretty good. This one's really good. That one's not too spicy. So while you started Super Mega in 2016, you guys have actually been active on the platform for far longer. Whether it was kicking back with Markiplier at his multi-million dollar mansion, or wrestling in the backyard with the Team 10 boys in their videos. Matt, tell me a little bit about your first YouTube channel, Format24. Format24 was a YouTube channel I started in 2007 with my, uh, my cousin Forrest, hence Format24. Um, I just wouldn't make uh, what I thought were funny videos, um, you know, stuff like that. Just, just like sketches, comedy stuff. I guess it was it was 2007, 2008, 2009. So, you know, kind of what you would just do back then. I understand Shane Dawson played a very big part in your inspiration and your creative process as a kid. Can you kind of walk me through that? Mm, yeah, I was a big Shane head. Hey, Shane Dawson. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, you know. I think when Shane Dawson's grandma died was a big turning point for me in my content creation, um, because that was when I when I first uh, kind of uh, established who I was going to be on the internet. Um, 
was was after his grandma passed. So I'm, I'm relatively glad that she died because that kind of gave me the uh, opportunity to be where I am now. All right, all right. And Ryan, I understand that you got your start making machinimas on the game Halo 3. Did you make a lot of money doing that? Um, no, I, 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 it was just like a for-profit business. I, I just, Rhino Hazard Productions was the production handle at the time. And uh, I just thought it was more about the art than anything. Um, I would say that being a machinima filmmaker at m most times is probably a little more intricate than regular filmmaking since you can actually go there and work with the equipment. In a game, it's just code. Yeah. And I understand your, a friend of your youth pastor actually helped you make a, an intro. Are you guys ready for the next wing? Let's do the next wing. Yeah. All right, great. Cheers. Mmm. Feeling the heat a little bit in this one. Oh, and not too bad though. Not too bad. Doing all right so far. So Ryan, I noticed you're wearing your Sea of Thieves hoodie. I understand you're a very accomplished professional gamer in your free time, racking up over a thousand hours in Sea of Thieves. Ryan, is it true you have the gold curse? Yeah, well, first off, yes, I do have the gold curse. It took me a while to get like around two weeks straight of nothing but gaming. And then, um, but you said over a thousand hours. I have exactly 1,365. Mm -hmm. Oh, which, congratulations. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, yeah, it's it's my it's one of my favorite games. It's uh, made by the same people who did uh, Donkey Kong Country back in the day, which was also one of my favorite games. Like Never played game. it. Okay. Is it true you've also achieved the rank of Pirate Legend on Sea of Thieves? Yes, that's level 50 in uh, any of the three factions they have. Uh, nowadays, you can get them a lot quicker with the emissary system that they introduced, which is like double rep, double gold. Um, Matt still hasn't played it with me. I've been asking. I just like for a I, while. I just like watching you. I like supporting you. So now, Matt, as the co-host of a gaming channel on YouTube that primarily posts Let's Plays, how does it feel knowing you're the inferior person out of the two? Um, you in know, in terms of in terms of gameplay, not like like in terms of like games, you're not as well, as yeah yeah as as great. I don't think that as a person, he's yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I just, I tend to do a lot, uh, spend a lot of my free time doing stuff like reading literature and um, researching art and stuff. So, you know, I don't spend as much of my free time playing video games as Ryan, but that doesn't in any way mean that Ryan is not as intellectually superior or at, as intellectual, at, on the same intellectual level. Um, because I think the video games take a lot of uh, willpower, a lot of brain power, a lot of dedication, heart. A lot of heart, so I don't, you know, I don't think I'm inferior in any sense. Uh, you know, if that's I think that's subjective, but uh, yeah, I mean, have you have you seen my gameplay of uh, I don't know, maybe Petting Chica Simulator, the Markiplier game? No. Well, that I did pretty good in that one. So, what about the fourth wing? Are you guys ready for wing four? Yeah. yeah, it's uh, all yours. Let's boogie. Go for it. As they say in the hood. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that one's good. You think so? That one's really good. I like that. It's kind of sweet. It's Thank got you. Like a, just the right amount of sweetness, right amount of heat. That's our in-house sauce. Like oh, the, really? It's really good. Do you mind if I... It's all yours. I'm gonna get a little bit of that too. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to get any on the table. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mmm, that's good. That's that's mm. really good. We'll make sure to give you guys a care package to take home since you like it so much. Oh, you're too kind. I can just take this bottle. Uh, we need it for the show, but I mean, we can give it to oh, you yeah, after. Yeah, sorry. Wow. Okay, that is. That's good. I can feel it. I can feel it in my mouth now. Really, like buzzing a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah. first one. The first one was actually, for some reason, the spiciest for me so far. Maybe it was like breaking that, like popping that spice cherry. But this this one's not too bad. You guys are doing great. Thank you. So Matt, I understand you're an unsuccessful musician in your personal life. Tell me, what's it like making a bedroom pop EP that no one listens to or respects as music? Um. Okay. Uh, well, I personally, I think that. 
people do like it, my music. I don't know, I mean, there's always gonna be haters out there, of course, but I know like Ryan is a big supporter. I mean, he likes, listens to all my music and likes it. I really like the uh, opening of that, uh, the last thing that you did. Yeah, you like that one? So Matt, I have another question for you. Where do you think Joji succeeded where you failed? Sean, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's, it's hard uh, to be a white man in today's America. And I think that that might, not might, I think that that, that is where uh, Joji is succeeding where I'm, I'm not because I'm kind of set at a disadvantage from the start. And, and I wish that more people understood that, you know, as a white man trying to enter the music industry, I, I have a disadvantage from the get go. So um, it's kind of an uphill battle, but uh, I mean, what was your favorite track off my last one? Uh, probably uh, the, the one that, that doesn't start right away with you singing. Do you align more with the radical left or the radical right? Uh, which one was the torches? They were like protesting for their like rights and stuff. I don't remember. It's uh, I can't well, right, remember. Right, right sounds right. Right. I, that's why I don't want to write the right. Thing. I don't want to say anything without. So I'll I'll just. We I mean, we can just move on to okay, the next yeah. thing if if you guys would prefer. Sure. Okay. Great. Hmm. Stop, careful with the eyes. Oh, careful with the eyes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry. That would've been bad. Rookie mistake, <laughs> rookie mistake. Hmm. all right. Feeling it. Ah, yeah, I'm feeling that one a little bit. Little bit, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That first swallow, I feel yeah. that a little bit. So Matt, I understand you were a huge fan of Michael Jackson growing up, eventually becoming a friend of the King of Pop when you were just nine years old, having multiple sleepovers at Neverland Ranch. So tell me, were you guys close? Yeah, um, we were, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I was close to Michael Jackson for a time. How did you feel when he eventually passed? Um, you know, I was young, uh, it's hard to even say how I felt. That is one spicy wing. Yeah, that one's that one's actually I can I can uh, I feel that one. You yeah, feel it. You that feel one's it on the, the ground is like an oven, Sean. Yeah, it's, it's like hot. Carolina Reaper. We're from South Carolina, so these are some hot ones, huh? Uh huh. Yep. All right, you guys are feeling it. Yeah, we've crossed the halfway mark onto wing Ooh. six. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, let's do it, Sean. All right, wing six. <sighs> Cheers, boys. Now, I see this one has, this says collards and ghost. Does it have ghost pepper in it? It's it's a hot sauce. Yeah, it's a hot one. It is a hot one. All right, this one's a little wet too. Cheers, boys. Mmm, oh. This one might get the first tears of the day. Oh, that burns my lips. Oh. Oh, that one burns my lips. It's a slow burn. I can taste the collars. No, I taste the collars too. It's a slow burn. It gets the nose going. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying not to bust out the milk yet, but. <laughs> I think the tears are. <sighs> okay. Usually right about here, I start sweating too. Ooh. Oh. Swallowed, yeah, that. Oh my God. Oh geez, yeah. So Matt. I understand your sister's actually pretty sexy. Yes. Can I get her number? Yeah, uh, sure. <sighs> that really... That one's hot. That, that kicked up from there. Yeah, it's hot. That's the one where it like clues Almost in. Almost as hot as his sister. Yeah, just about. I'm crying. See this tear? Yeah? I'm not crying yet, but it... Hello? Hey, what's going on? This is Sean Evans from First We Feast. I'm on Hot Ones right now with your brother, Matt, and his friend, Ryan. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Doing good, doing good. We're on Wing 7 right now. I just wanted to ask a few questions about your brother since you grew up with him. Is that all right? All right, that sounds great. Okay, first question. What's the most embarrassing thing your brother ever did growing up? Ooh, um, one time he 
he came home and he set a bunch of kids on the bus, told them that he needed to lose his virginity. Virginity, like like virginity. Yeah, but he called it his virginity. <laughs> This was like seventh grade. Oh, he was older than me now. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, what's the oh. worst thing he ever did to your family growing up? I understand he pranked your mother a lot by putting ketchup packets under the toilet seat. What did he? Did he ever do anything to you or your your father or, or any pets or anything like that? Uh, well, one time he pulled my skirt down in front of a bunch of people. Oh, I was like five. That wasn't enough. like fifteen. Still. <laughs> he also would, uh, as of recently, call my very conservative father, he needed to be a Bernie Sanders vote supporter, four or five a.m. Yeah, I didn't do our side many favors with that one. That's that's great. That's great. I just oh, thanks, they're, Sam. They're uh, they're having a rough time here. Well, thank you so much for calling. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to keep in touch. All right. Thank you. Bye. She sounds sexy. She's sexy as hell. All right, are you guys ready for the next wing? Oh man, I'm dizzy actually, I'm dizzy. You need a minute? I'm dizzy, no. I want, get, like, you can feel free. How no. much worse does it get? All right, boys, wing seven, are you ready to go? Yes, let's do yes, it. Yes, Sean. All right. Hey, cheers. Cheers. I got a little bit of that, yeah. Cheers. <sighs> All right. Oh. That one tastes better than the last one, but it's definitely. You're going for all of it? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. You're clean. going for all of it. Uh huh. Go oh, for more. Mmm. This is a good sauce too. They've all been good so far. I haven't like disliked a sauce yet. Yeah, this one tastes better than the last one, but. <laughs> Are you feeling it? Yeah, I'm feeling it, Sean. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling it, Sean. All right, boys, so we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, where we do a deep dive into our guest's Instagram, pull interesting photos that need more context. I'm gonna have Ooh. someone bring out a laptop, and you guys can give me some more context behind some photos. That sound good? That sounds yep. good, Sean, let's do it. All right, laptop, please. Thank a little you. Water. Oh. I haven't taken a sip yet, Sean. Proud of you, man. Cheers. Mm. So photo number still one. Not, still not drinking. Photo number one. All right, photo number one. So can you explain this for me? What's going on here? I I don't know. That's uh, not on my Instagram. Where you would have gotten that, honestly. Uh, if you want, we can move on to the yeah. next one. This the next one? Yeah. Okay. This one, this seems to be you guys at what looks like the White House. That was fun. There was a, there was a, there was a big kind of like, protests at the White House, because we're one for political activism, as the, as you mentioned earlier. Right. And we just felt like what was going on in the current state in the United yeah. States was just not what we would do if we were president or in office. So we were kind of sticking it to the man, uh, so to speak. Yeah. Patriots. Patriots. Sticking to the man, yeah. What Patriots. else? I like that. Patriots, yes. Patriots. Right. What else? Okay. This photo, who, who are you guys with there? I don't think that was on my Instagram either. Uh, I mean, that's... That's just a... That one's photoshopped. That's it was just a prank picture. You can just picture. keep the second one in. You it, it seems, well, it seems like you guys are on a private jet of some kind yeah. here. What are you... No. I, yeah, I, know you, a, I know you guys make a lot of money from YouTube. Uh, yeah, we do. Do you hang out a lot with the uh, the elite? I mean, no. We, we, we hang out with people who, who understand our way of living. Okay. That's, that's a good one. Okay. A, I, that one was photoshopped for a video too, so... Uh, how, about, how about the next one? Uh, we, we could probably just stop this segment. Well, we do have one more. Okay. Definitely can't share that one. Can we not put that in? Would you guys prefer? I'm only comfortable with the second picture, honestly. Second one only. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm, look, I'm looking at our agent right now. Our agent, no, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's doing, he's giving us this. Well, yeah, so let's, let's, let's get it on to the next wing. Wing eight? Let's go to wing eight. All right, wing <laughs> eight. Yeah. I guess I'm just winging it. <laughs> don't, don't, sorry. I'm gonna hurt the sauces. Okay, sorry. All right, boys. Wing eight, the bomb. So far, you guys are doing great through the gauntlet of fire. You ready to move on? Yes. Please. All right, wing eight. Wing eight. 
I've heard a lot about this. I've one. heard a lot about the bomb. It's very popular. We keep this one for every season. Oh, it's all over my fingers. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Ready? You guys ready? Oh, that does not smell like <laughs> that's, that's, that's spicy. Hot. Should I go for the for the part with extra sauce? You can do whatever you want. Some I'm people go just go right in. I'm just, I'm, just I'm, I'm jumping in. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. Mm, big bite. Mmm. Mm mm. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. It's, oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. That is a dra <coughs> that's a drastic step forward. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna I haven't taken a sip of water yet, Sean. Right. Oh my god. Because I brought something myself. Oh wow. Something from home. Wow. <coughs> so thought, did you did you make that yourself? <sighs> yep. Can I get some milk as well? Can we get some milk, please? Oh, that's awful. <sighs> that one sucks. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that one's lasting a long time. <laughs> that one lasts. Uh, not like uh, you in bed. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. So right. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It's called a bomb for a reason. It's a slow burn. I don't have hiccups yet, but that's the question. Oh, that fuck, okay. fuck, fuck. So Ryan, what's it like working with, honestly, a narcoleptic idiot that doesn't take responsibility for any aspect of his life? Um, well, that's my best friend. So working with him regardless of any pitfalls that he may show. Uh, fuck. Woo, Sean. It's called the Bob for a reason. Oh, it just hit my throat. I love my friend Matt. It's a medical condition, narcolepsy. They don't, there's no cure for it. They don't even know what causes it, Sean, so. Oh. Yeah. So Matt, I understand you're consistently late for work almost every day with almost no respect for your coworkers' time. Can you please give me a good reason as to why you're always late? Um. Poor time management, I can't even lie. Oh. Holy shit, there's two more? Two oh. more. It gets worse than that. Some people say that's the worst. Oh. Other people say that around nine and 10, you just sort of lose sight of, of reality. Okay. All right, let's go. Are you guys ready to move on to the next one. one? Okay. All right, boys. Two wings left, wing nine and 10. Are you ready to just move on to the next one? Yes. Yes. Let's go drastic let's step move on. up. Woo! <sighs> wing nine. Uh, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Oh, uh, okay. I just want a psycho in the name. All right. Uh, let's go. You ready, boys? <laughs> all right, just going in. in. Just go for it. Just go for it. It's a free for all. Uh, oh. Nope. nope. Oh, that was bad, too. Oh. It gets worse. It gets worse. I'm sorry. All right. It's fine, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Roll yourself. Matt and Ryan, I understand you guys have worked your way up from such a small company to now being honestly a fully fledged entertainment company with multiple employees. So tell me, out of all the employees, who's your favorite and who do you feel works the hardest for your company? Um, favorite? So it's so, it's so hard, they all, they all work equally as hard as the as the next. Um, they do all work, work equally hard. But would you say that Tucker has a, sp a special eye for camera stuff? And uh, but someone that's on payroll, would you say someone that's on payroll works harder than the other employees that are on payroll? Someone that's perhaps worked longer than anyone else? Well, we have an editor, Justin. He's been working <sighs> on the channel for about five, six years now. Right, right. I've heard a lot of great things about him. Yeah, he uh, he definitely uh, he definitely edits. So would you say the employee that works the hardest, you kind of insinuated Justin, would you say that he deserves oh, a bigger paycheck? Layton. Layton works pretty hard. But specifically Justin, would you say he deserves a bigger paycheck since he works so hard and edits so I many videos? I wouldn't say that. Even if he's a talent in a video? Well, uh, no. We're I mean, talent. He does, he does a decent job when uh, he's tasked with stuff, but I, I, feel, I feel like it all covers the job. He does, he does a decent I don't know what I'm fucking saying. It's it's hard to think straight. Let's well, move on to number ten. Can we go on to the last number one? Number ten. Please? Number ten. The, the, the final way. Really helping that much. Does no, the water. Help? A lot. A lot of people say mm -hmm. that you know the milk helps. I, I personally, I feel like it's kind of a myth. Water, milk, 
potato, potato. Can I get some more milk? Oh. Can, can we get a refill on the milk glasses, please? Oh. Wing 10, are you boys ready? Yeah. The last one, the gauntlet, oh, as ready as I'll ever Man, be, Sean. Can you pass me that sauce right there? Yes, oh. sir. My, my fingertips are uh, tingly, like my, my extremities are numb. Oh, I'm, right. not, I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna block out some leakage. Yeah. Uh. Ah! Oh! So, it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing, we call it the last dab. You don't have to if you don't want to. I always kind of have to. You're gonna go part for of the it. show. Up, up. <laughs> Fuck it, why not? Just a, little, just a little dab? Just a little for me. There. I am right. dizzy. That's enough? That's that's perfect. I am dizzy, I'm not kidding. I don't know if it's from the hyperventilating or... Oh. That's... Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm already, I'm calling for the last one. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's all right. I'm we'll sorry, have, sorry, that's sorry, all right. that's all right. That's all right. <sighs> we'll take care of it. You don't have to, that's okay. Oh, no, 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 I want to get started. Don't worry about it. I got it everywhere. Sorry, Sean. It's fine. We have plenty of those. Let's get started. I'm going. Cheers. Cheers. How's the last one? Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh. Oh, fuck. This is mine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. That is yours. I was gripping it for so two. So Matt, Matt, Ryan, there's been a lot of speculation over the years. A lot of people have always kind of wondered. There's been so many comments and hints about it. Uh -huh. No one's ever asked the question face to face. Matt, Ryan, uh -huh. how's, your, how's your relationship with Markiplier? Uh -huh. well, Mark Fishbach is a... Mark Edward Fishbach. Mark Edward Fishbach was a big part of our upbringing. And, uh, you know, as... As hilarious of a mentor as he was, we had to get our distance from him. And we had to, you know, find our own voice. With the, with the many that there are on YouTube. So that's why we decided to move from him. It had nothing to do with uh, any, like, physical or, or sexual assault. Um, no. That's, that's what a lot of people online said. That's, there's no truth to that. I think of anything. We were too big for him. Uh, and, uh, and I think that we were too, uh, he was, we were too big for him and, and too funny for him and, oh, that sucked. Overall, he, uh, he's, he's uh, are you jealous guys, of our money. Are you guys on good terms? I'll be Mark Applied to the end of time. Baby. I will always be a mark of plate to the day I die, and I hope it's on my tombstone. I hope there's a Wilfred Wharf stash on my fucking. I hope my tombstone's a big pink <sighs> Wilfred Wharf stash. Fuck. All right. Well, Matt, Ryan. Oh, uh, yeah. Sean. We rolled out the gauntlet for you. Ten wings of death. <sighs> you guys were champions. This camera, this camera, this camera. Let the people know what you got going on in your lives. Um, we have a YouTube channel called Super Mega. We have a we have a book, New York Times best selling book by my man Mitchell. Super Mega Saves the Troops. Really good. We wrote it ourselves. People can check that out. Uh, we, we have uh, a podcast. Yeah, we have a podcast. Lots of celebrities. You know all about that, Sean. Uh, I make music. Just Matt Watson. Well, no one wants to hear about that. Ryan, what about you? Where can uh, people find you online? Eli Ryan McGee, E L I R Y M A G E E on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter. And uh, Matt, M A T T H I Watson. I don't remember asking. Oh. Okay, Sean, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys shot. for coming on. Holy fuck. Okay. Ooh.